Peace and blessings, love and light, greetings in the name of the Most High, Jah. Rastafari, Hola Manuel, Selassie. Blessed love all the while. My name is Abba, I and I name is Abba Ras and Ebena Tafari. My name is Empress Shirley J. Stevens. And we make up the dynamic duo of Spiritual Enjoy Alignment, and Health and, and Wellness, LLC. By God. I thought today, one of uh, the services that we offer, and we're here being featured by golly on the Spiritual Guidance Academy. Shout out to Nicole, blessings and all kind of love, all the love. Shine, shine, shine. Thank you for shining the way you do. All right, and one of the services that we offer is spiritual counsel. We use um, various modalities, one of them being the I Ching or the I Ching, as some might say, but it's pronounced E. King um, or the Book of Changes. Uh, and since we're in this time and we have all this stuff going on with people being quarantined and social distancing and all this fun funness. Um, those of we who are consciously on the spiritual path and those of we who are seeking quote unquote the spiritual path may know that interaction is crucial as and, and important and as important as quote unquote alone time or time with oneself and, and one source and heart. So in this time I figured we would ask the E King the question. I've actually got two versions. One, of course, unfortunately, is missing the cover. <laughs> but I will tell you, it's called The E King, The Book of Changes. By golly. This one is um, Brian Brown, Brown Walker. Walker is the uh, translator. Of course, the original is in. Chinese, but this is a translation that's pretty good, I find, and accessible to um, most people that grew up, you know, speaking English. And I also use this one to cross reference. Sorry, it's upside down. Is it upside down? Oh, yeah, there we go. Sorry, this one is by this is a translation by Lillian, too. <laughs> God bless the eye. Uh, the Secrets of the Plum Blossom Oracle. And this one is a pretty cool translation to it that it mentions uh, a lot of more rootsy omen synchronistical type of things along with the classic uh, readings of the line and the guidance as far as what is called the, the judgment in, in the uh, in King times, but what for our sake, we're going to just use the word guidance so we understand that's what that means. All right. That being said, how do we do an E-King reading? Real quick, we're going to do a tutorial. Let me get the screen so you can see what I'm doing here real quick. All right, you may see there calories. I got three calorie shells. And how we get a hexagram, hex meaning six, which is uh, made up of three, two trigrams, which are made up of three lines each. So that's six lines total. How we get those lines is we roll or drop the, the uh, coin. Some people use coins. In my case, I use calorie shells because it's 
closer to I vibrate with that because it's close to my and I tradition and culture is African. Anyway, so when we look at these cowrie shells, we see there's an open, what we call an open mouth, and a close. Alright, alright. So, these are number values. This is a 2. And the other side is a three. So if I throw these and get a six or an eight, then I know I get a what's called a yin line. Some people will call that broken. Well, I'm going to use these terms so that we understand that this is energy. We're talking about a picture of energy and life. Yin. That's a yin line. Now, if that line were to be a six, then it would be a changing yin line. And I would note it like so. Put a little... X in there, so I know that's going to change from yin to yang in the next hexagram, the transformed hexagram. Now, if I throw and I get a number value that is seven or nine, then I get what is called a yang line. That line at the top there is a yang line. And right now it's written as an unchanging line. If that were to be a nine that I get as a number value, then that would change. That would be a changing yang line, which means that would change into a yin line. So we throw that these calories. six times to get six lines and then that will create a picture which may or may not depending on guidance that comes from source from within to without via this vehicle to create a picture of the life situation in the moment if we get a changing hexagram then that is the situation that we're reading First, the first hexagram will be the present situation, and the second or transformed hexagram will be the situation it's changing into. All right. That being said, our question today is how to stay spiritually uplifted. How to stay spiritually uplifted during this time of social distancing. Knowing, like I said, interacting is very crucial to, you know, our spiritual growth. Mind you, we have all these great things now because of technology, Zoom, and etc. But personal interactions are, you know, in this time, is a little bit more, uh, I want to say, challenging to achieve at times and times where we have different constraints, masks, and so forth. Anyway, we're going to go to our question here. So I'm going to sit and focus on a question for a minute, and then we're going to, I'm going to throw the calories. Yeah, I said over there. Let's do this. I'm going to do this. I kept up. Can't put your knob on it. It's possible. 
Ruben attempted to get the new nipper chair, kept wearing a hog on her eat sauceable. Ruben attempted to get the new nipper chair, kept wearing so out the jet with the jet up. And it's about ten minutes of moving the chair. He turned to the Ifai King Wisdom. Dwao. Dwao, Madam Tech, Dwao, we came. Dwao, we father. Dwao, wisdom, thank you, wisdom. Ashe, 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 to my ancestors. Et un boya, et un vole vole, falasio. Et un boya, et un vole vole, falasio. All right. Two and two, it's four and three is seven. And from the bottom up, we write. So we have seven there. Another seven. And eight. So that nine means we have a changing line at the top. Hopefully ones and ones can see that. But there's a solid line, a solid line, a bro a yin line, a yin line, and then two more solid lines, which makes the hexagram number sixty-one known as Kung Fu or Inner Truth Dealing with Difficult Situations or People. Pretty apropos to what's going on with the whole COVID thing. So we got our basic hexagram there, and there, like I said, is a changing line. So we got some guidance from source. Three changing into three or lake over under wood changes into water or chasm over lake, which is also called limitation. All right, let's see what the actual reading says for us. We got about 
plastic elixir to go. Sixty one talks about dealing with difficult situations and or people. In this particular case we're talking about the whole social distancing. And it says through openness and gentleness the correct solution is reached. Arriving at the correct solution is difficult. To a difficult situation requires receptivity to inner truth. Unless we are willing to put aside the strong emotions of our egos and devote ourselves to discovering what is right, there can be no hope of progress at this time. Help only comes when we invite it with a sincere and innocent attitude. The E King teaches a simple but effective method of influencing difficult people in arduous situations. It advises us first to lay aside our prejudices, our feelings of being wounded, angry, or in the right, and second, to seek to understand the positions of others and the lesson that the sage is teaching, teaching us with the situation. Even when another or the situation is truly out of line, it is only by accepting this and remaining balanced that we make it possible for positive change to occur. Gentleness and understanding create in others an unconscious willingness to be led. So in other words, by going to understand the other person, or situation that situation and or person will go to understand you why because you're working karma then you're using your actions to create a positive action and the line of guidance is at the top of the hexagram and that is do not try to talk others into accepting truth self-development is made step by step and each must find their own pace Reticence toward others and innocence in our own attitudes is advised, which makes sense because in this time, um, there are varying degrees of ones and ones dealing with the situation of the coronavirus, um, the feasible reactions of fear or faith that individuals are having so ones and ones being able to be understanding and respectful of basically all positions and be able to you know see perhaps and understand that person well why does that person want to wear a mask or why does that person think this mask thing is so important with whatever side that a person might be on in that whole situation um, to be able to move and interact with one another in harmony. And that changing line changes this into the hexagram 60 limitation. The practice of economy is a valuable notion everywhere in life. In your financial challenge dealings, a reasonable thrift practice, practice today assures ones and ones of opportunity tomorrow. In one's emotional life, the practice of balance and equanimity allows steady spiritual progress. The hexagram chi comes as an encouragement to set practical limits throughout our lives. Life lived without guidelines is confusing and troubling in order to make genuine progress in any direction. And we have to think about this in context of the COVID virus. We must first give some definition to our path. However, limits that are over strenuous are not helpful. Having too many rules causes rebellions in the ones on whom they are imposed, whether oneself or another. Therefore, there must be limits even on one's limits. I'll leave you with this ending guidance here. Voluntarily chosen limits empower our growth. So let's all be safe and healthy. Let's keep sending love to ourselves and to our fellow being out here, knowing that we are all connected and we all share the same planet and air. Blessed love, peace, and light.
And again, thanks again to Spiritual Guidance Academy. Blessings and love.